Hey guys, MD Prepper here. Another gear review. This time, yet another water purification option. This is the monolithic water filter. Ceramic water filter that I got off of Cheaper Than Dirt for about 30 bucks. Um, good filter overall. Let me show you what it comes with. It comes in a big cardboard box like this with a little ceramic filter tag on it. You can keep it in that and that's what I do. I keep it there just for safety's sake. But uh, the big box here, once you open it up, you got some bubble wrap, you got your ceramic filter here. Okay? Take it out. It's pretty big. This is a pretty decent ceramic you know, filter here. It's pretty big. Uh, don't have the stats on it, but uh, basically a little wing nut here on the top. See that there? With two washers. That's two of them. I'm not going to take them off, but uh, you can see that there. One's from the top, one's from the bottom of your bucket that you're going to use to uh, provide decent coverage so that water doesn't filter through, you know, outside of the filter there. So, decent water protection there. Shake this thing. Don't know if you can hear that, but you can hear the carbon on the inside rattle around. So, this thing is a 0.5 micron filter. Not the best filter in the world. Uh, you probably just saw, it. if you haven't, please go look at it. My Sawyer water filter, which is 0.1 microns, this one's 0.5. So, not nearly as good, but for general purpose, this is okay, as long as you use some bleach or something after the fact. Only thing I don't like about this is exposed, okay? If this thing gets cracked, it's worthless, okay? So if you drop it, if you fall on it in your pack, something like that, and this is not a packable, I would say, option. But uh, these things are used in third world countries. A lot of people donate and spend money to send these to third world countries for water filtration. That's fine. There's, there's no problem with that overall. They're going to be fine. But you just got to protect the thing, okay? Just be careful with this. Keep it packed to the bubble wrap and your box and all that. I keep these inside my house, you know, back on a shelf where it's not going to fall off, even if there's an earthquake, anything like that. Not that we tend to have those here. But uh, the ceramic filter needs to be protected. Now, you've got your uh, carbon on the inside, like we said. If you rattle around, you can hear that. If you're storing this thing for a long time, you need to take it out. Every couple months or so, shake it up so the carbon doesn't sell. It's going to extend the life of this thing. So, anyway, this is a drip filter, gravity filter, that sort of thing. What you're going to need, other than just the basic kit, you know, the basic box for 30 bucks is not going to be enough. What you're going to need to get, two buckets. You know, preferably five gallon, I'd say. That's going to do general purpose. We're all going to have five gallon buckets around. If we don't, we should. You don't have any? Go get some. Uh, get them with the lids on the top and all that. I'd recommend two five gallon buckets with two lids on them. First bucket, you're going to need to drill a hole in the bottom. This is going to need to be a half inch hole. This is going to fit this attachment here. Once you drill that in the bottom, you attach this thing on the bottom side, and you oh, sorry, on the, on the top side rather, and you screw it in with a washer on the upper side and a washer on the bottom side. Okay, so this is going to be the upside of the upper bucket dripping down below with clean water on the other side with the other washer on the other side, obviously with the wing nut. And that's going to drip good clean water. Now, you want to pre-filter your water before you actually use this thing. You know, do you have to? No, you don't. But if you've got muddy, crappy, junky water, well, that's going to slow down the filter rate as the mud and gunk come down on this thing. Can you clean this? Yeah, you can. You clean this up to about 100 times, they say, with a uh, bristle brush, something like that, just a toothbrush, you know, scraping it clean. But why do that? Why, why bother with the extra hassle of that? Make sure your water's clean, or as clean as it can be, before you put it in the top of the bucket. So this is the top of the bucket. This is sticking out the bottom through the hole on the lid on the second bucket, the bucket below. It's going to be the best way to do that. Lower bucket's going to collect the clean water, good to go. Now, 0.5 microns, I would not trust this overall as a standard filter. I would in a, an emergency situation, it's okay. But if you have viruses, that type of stuff you're worried about, you're worried about, you know, just any kind of virus in the water, you need to add some bleach after the fact. You could do it before. I personally say do it after the fact, once you've got the particulate and all that other junk out of this thing. 
once you've got a good clean bucket of water on the bottom, five gallon bucket on the bottom, you're good to go. So, this thing is good for about six months once you start using it. There's no maximum water capacity they offer or recommend for this thing. But once you start using it, once this thing's hit water and you started filtering, it's good for about six months, okay? I would recommend you shake the thing every so often just so the internal carbon does its job, you know, breaks that loose, so it does, does what it needs to do. But uh, filters about 14 gallons per day. Now, I've not used this thing overnight or long term, but I would assume for 14 gallons per day is over a 24 hour period, not just a 12 hour. So you're going to need to keep this thing filled up. The upper bucket with this thing pointed upwards, you're going to keep needing to dump dirty water into that to keep it going. The higher the column, the higher the pressure, the quicker you're going to push things through. So you don't wait till this thing drains all the way to the bottom before you fill it back up. I just wouldn't do that. You could, it's fine, no problems with that, but you're going to need a bit, bit of better filtration rate with a higher column of water. Again, the higher the column of water, the higher the pressure at the bottom of the column, and this is going to be at the bottom, so it's going to press water through quicker. So keep it full, you know, if that's what you need. If you need to filter water, keep somebody up awake on watch, what you need anyway. Let them refill this thing with dirty water. Good to go. Let's see. Uh, the accessories with this thing. I'm going to put this aside there so it doesn't roll off. comes in a plastic bag, which everything fits in this little cardboard box, which is fine for storage. Uh, you come with a, uh, a filter sock, is what they call it. This thing fits over the filter to filter out particulate, okay? There it is right there. Basically, when you've got this thing in the bottom of the bucket, you drop this over the top and you know, fit it around as best you can. It fits quite snugly. I'm not going to sit there and play with this thing, but it will fit all the way down very snugly around the base of this thing and will take out extra particulate and other gunk in the water, okay? You can clean this off as you need to, etc., wash it, whatnot. Uh, I would, of course, not rely on this as my primary. Again, this is fine, but for long-term use, I don't want to use up my last line of defense here. I would put a towel or something like that over my five-gallon bucket before I filter this. Maybe an extra five-gallon bucket. But maybe filter it multiple times. Put a towel, bandana, anything like that over your muddy water. Filter out as much of the gunk as you can before you put it through your actual filter, okay? So I would say the sock is a last-ditch effort. Um... Uh, it's good, it's fine, it's going to be decent for filtering things out, but why have a muddy bucket once you pull this thing off with this thing sitting here when you could have already done that before? So, you need plenty of five-gallon buckets. We all need lots and lots of five-gallon buckets. You can't have too many. Now, what else does it come with? A spigot. See that there? A spigot kit for the lower bucket, the clean water bucket. What you need is a three-quarter inch bit to drill a hole in the side. You can do that with you know, obviously, you know, I don't say mechanical tools, but electronic tools, electrical tools, you know, powered stuff. It's going to zip through that real quick. But uh, if you don't have that, you can just take the drill bit and just sit there and spin the thing. You can do that for the uh, container, the the bottom of the container for this one. You're going to be okay. Half inch here, three quarter inch here. You don't have to have this. It's nice. It's convenient so that you don't take the buckets apart to get the water to pour it out. So I would certainly prefer using the spigot. You don't have to have it, but you get your washers, your rubber washers and all that and everything to secure this tight so that you can just open that up and drain the water out easily into a separate container. Works very, very well. Um, I'm not going to display the options for or the ways that you make the bucket for this. Go to CheapInTheDirt.com, which is where I bought this thing for about 30 bucks. They got a video on it, DSARTY1 on YouTube. Great videos, great stuff. Wonderful vid on using this thing. He takes what he calls poo water and pours it into a bucket, filtered through a towel, and drinks it on the on the back side, on the clear side. Does real well. So, thirty bucks is decent. Um, six months of use maximum. Once you start using it, fourteen gallons per day. That's good in an emergency situation when you got a lot of people. You know, you got a small crew, small army, squad to uh, feed and water. This thing's going to be great. I would not use this for day-to-day -day uses. This is for when it hits the fan. Now, for thirty bucks, it's not the best deal overall. Again, I like the Sawyer inline filters and the Berkey filters. 
I love the Berkey filters. The Berkeys are the best overall, my way, but they're going to cost you about $250 or so to start with. Now, it's going to last a heck of a lot longer than this thing, but what if you don't have $250? Well, $30 is okay. Uh, there's some better options that I would think of other than this one, you know, primarily the Sawyer filters. This is okay. There's nothing wrong with this. Again, there's a uh, whole community of... Uh, I'll say survivors, but a religious group that uh, sends these to third world countries on donations to filter their water after emergencies and that type of stuff. So, nothing wrong with the monolithic filter. If you look around, uh, one of my previous videos is on a water bottle that has one of these same style, smaller, obviously much, much smaller little filters that appears to be a monolithic filter that works tremendously well. So, for $30, it's not bad. Just know that it's only going to last you for six months once you start using it. You can't use this for a, well, you could use it for a two to three day power outage for filtering water. Sure, you could, but six months after that, you got to trash it. So for 30 bucks, I would, I'd save this thing. I'd use your filter straws, that type of stuff. This is for emergency purposes only. 14 gallons per day for six months. I have not done the uh, math on that for how many gallons that is. You guys do the math. But uh, 14 gallons per day, that's 14 people per day on the max end. So, very much worth the 30 bucks. If you want to see the how-to videos, look them up on Cheaper Than Dirt or YouTube, that type of stuff. Just look at monolithic filters. Indie Prepper, out.